All right, so as you can see here, I'm just inside my class and you can see there's two students with their hands up and I've got a student here with a silly name. So first of all, I'm gonna deal with the silly name. So you can see this silly Moo Moo. I'm just gonna to go to the corner here. I'm gonna press on manage roster and then I'm going to remove this person from the roster. From the roster, you can also see who's got their hand up. So that gives you another clear indication. You go back there and then you can start helping them. One of the things that we used to have a problem with, which I think, I believe they have fixed, is um, this one here, where you'd get a student called Sophie. So right now I'm on hers. And you see, I've got an eraser here, but I cannot erase any of her work because I'm the teacher. I can add things if I want to. I can write something on her work instead for her, but I can't erase anything, which is good. Okay. What happened before was people could actually log in as a new person, as a new version of Sophie. So what I've done here is, this is one version of Sophie. Um, and then I've also got another version of Sophie here. Okay, so this is another person who's logged in as the same person. Now the thing with this person is that they can write and then when you log in to the real Sophie, you'll see that that writing is actually added on there. Now before we couldn't erase this, now we can, which is amazing. But another way to get rid of this problem um, more permanently is when you're in your roster, so again, go back to the start, go to manage roster, and go to lock options. Okay, so what we can do is, first of all, we're gonna lock new students from logging in. So where you get these silly names, once you've got your names in your class, and the students are correct, and you've got the right number of students, you can lock the roster, so you won't get anyone else entering. You can also have this section here, which is called single device login, which means that nobody can enter as the, with the name of that person. So this person is Sophie. Nobody can enter as Sophie again. There's only one Sophie. Obviously, if you've got two or three or four, whatever, you might have to write Sophie ABC at the end. But, you know, that gets rid of that problem of people writing on each other's work. Um, so there's that. Then, if you look here, sorry, let's go back to the teacher view, and you see I've got a few students with their hand up. I already went to Sophie, so her hand went back down. But this one says, what shall I do? So she actually has no idea. So I'll just take the text box, and I'll just write a note onto there, okay? So you need to work out whether um, the object is a thing etc etc obviously I'm not gonna write the whole comment now and then I'll probably highlight for her for example the museum is a place and maybe I'll do one for her the car is a thing so I'll just stick that over there okay so that will give her a bit of a helping hand now what I can do as a teacher is now stick a sticker there to say that I've actually been here and I've checked her work. On here, you see Sam also has her hand up, but this one is a please check. So this person's done their work, and now all I want to do is quickly check. Now, if you want to, you can actually check as you normally would do and put marks all the way down, which obviously takes time, but it's up to you if that's what you want. You can also just use stickers to say, well done, good work, I can see that you've done your work and it's brilliant. You can assign points to the stickers, so when you see these stickers, you'll see that I've assigned points, so this one's got 10. So later on, when you go to here, you can actually export your students' grades. Um, you can't do that now, I, I can't do that because I'm not logged into my pro version, but um, if you do have the pro version, you can do that. If you haven't, then just do what I normally did, which was check the names manually and add it into my Excel sheet. Again, it's not a problem. Um, if you have a look here now, this person um, has not put their hand up and they haven't finished. So I'm just having a quick look at their work and I can see they've not finished. So I'm going to say to them to check your work. So I've given them five points for trying and then I might write a note for them 
finish your work please so again when you add these little notes to the students to their work uh, it really does help them it shows them that you're looking you're checking and it's kind of like when you're back in the class so hopefully these couple of tips will help you um, to do more things in class cake let me know if there's anything else you'd like